It was another busy day of baking and eating, but there was still lots to do, including baking our bread. Find out what fresh bread on a canoe trip can be like, including baking a pie. Okay, so there's no rest for the wicked. I guess I was being overly ambitious about, you know, things that we can make uh, and that we can bake and cook and whatever. And it is, it takes a lot of work and it takes a lot of time. I think I was a little overly ambitious here. The bake, the bread, the fresh bread is baking right now as we speak. So while that's going on, what we, we figure we're gonna do is because when the bread is baked, we'll pull it out of the reflector oven and we'll hopefully have this ready. So what we're going to do is we're going to actually make fresh apple pie from scratch. And uh, we're not going to make a big tin, we're going to make two small tins for myself and Anita. Here uh, Anita's already pre-made the dough for the, um, I guess, the, the pie dough. So it's all, all in here. There's some extra flour here to, to roll the dough. And here's sugar and cinnamon in a bag. And we've got our apples here. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to peel the apples, slice and dice them up, put them in this po uh, pan, a pot, and I'm going to put the sugar and the cinnamon and mix it all up. And then after that, I'll start making the, the pie dough. During this time, I peeled, cored, and cut three apples for our two small pies. Bread's coming on along nicely. As you can see, it's browning and it's almost ready. Okay, so the bread is nicely browned. It looks delicious. And the smell, oh man, it's to die for. I'm gonna let it cool for a bit and we're gonna have some fresh bread with butter. This is, I'm getting so excited. And here's what the baked bread looked like with a light coating of butter on top. Okay, so we've uh, cut, cored, peeled the apples you can see in the pot here. And uh, so this is just a basically cinnamon and sugar mix in this bag here, right here. So I'm gonna pour that all in there. I'm gonna mix it all nicely. I'm just gonna give it a good mix. We didn't use uh, Granny Smith apples because you want that uh, tartness uh, to the apple. Um, but unfortunately we didn't have any and we had these apples at home. So we were just trying to use them up. And that's the, that's the only reason we're using these kind of, they're kind of like, I, I think they're delicious apples. I no, think. I think it's um, honey crisp or something. Honey crisp, like okay. Which would probably be fine too, but Granny's are the best. Yeah. So I've mixed this really well. You can see that the apples are nicely coated with sugar and cinnamon. There's still lots on the bottom. So what we're going to do is let that sit and absorb the cinnamon and sugar while we eat our fresh bread. That's the only reason why we're letting it sit, you know, because you want to <laughs> devour the bread. <laughs> we don't want the bread to go cold. There we go. That looks really good. All right, so we'll let that sit. And then after we have our lunch, then we'll make the pie dough. And then we'll put that in, 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 the, in the pan with the pie dough. Okay, so the moment we've been waiting for, I'm totally <laughs> excited about this. The bread looks amazing, but you know, the final test is always the taste test. I will cut into it and I've got, um, I thought this was butter, but Anita corrected me, it's margarine. Let's hear, let's cut her up. I wonder if I should even be uh, cutting it, I should just break it. You always rip the bread, you're supposed to cut it. Oh, ho, 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 ho. look at that. Oh, oh. 
Oh, that smells amazing. All right, I'm just gonna tear it because I am gonna try it with the margarine first. That's good. Mm. Mm. Hold on. I gotta redo the taste test. Mm. Well, what can I say? With Anita's coaching and her her help, it turned out amazing. And um, hey, if you want to have fun, you have an easy day, and it's a warm warm day, go for it. Try making fresh bread because you know what, bannock is good. Fresh bread is that much better. So I will spare you the misery, and I'm gonna go indulge. We've got peanut butter jam and honey here waiting for us. So. We're going to have lunch now. Stay tuned because there's an apple pie waiting for us as well. Ready? Yeah. Do you like that, Titty? Was that good? We've stirred up the, the apple with the cinnamon and, and the sugar. So it's actually, you can see the, the juices are coming out of the apple and there's a nice syrup um, at the bottom of this pot. Just do a quick mix here. Let's just mix up the, the remaining sugar and the cinnamon at the bottom. Yeah, that looks great. Okay, so that looks good. So what I'm gonna do is take the dough, this is the pie dough, put it in the Dutch oven. We put three quarter cups of water, and I was told that I'm not supposed to mash it as much as, uh, or knead it as much as the bread. So you got to be careful here. I'll get some water here, and this is 300, so it's more than a cup. So I'm just going to make sure that there's not uh, that much when I'm done. I want to make sure that I've got like a only a hundred mils left. Probably about there. Okay, let's get my hands dirty again. So, Anita, what was what's in this? this pastry flour, salt. What's that? what's that? Pastry flour. Pastry flour, which salt. I have no clue as to what it is. I'm gonna. I'm, I guess I'm gonna be learning some of this stuff soon. <laughs> Salt, what else? Um, sugar. Sugar. Shortening. Shortening. Doing bottoms and tops. Okay. So just take a small piece. Mm -hmm. You probably need a bigger piece than that for the bottom, bottom. don't you think? Okay. You like that? Sure. Okay. You're supposed to make a rolling pin, remember? Oh, oops. Get it thin. Thin. No rolling pin. So I'm gonna have just have to press it down and hopefully make it as thin as possible. I don't have a large enough surface though. Okay, so we got a pie too. Okay. Just slip it under? Okay. What was that? Just a needle. Okay. Okay. Oh, okay. Can I use this one? Okay. Okay. 
Ideally, I would have both hands, but obviously I'm trying to do this with one hand. So it's not working as efficiently, but we're getting there. Maybe put this over here. You need to put more flour on top of your board. You know what? It's not easy crouching on your knees. No, I can see that. press it down yep. and then you're going to do that cutting off the pastry in. You should get yourself a work table. I know. Okay. Beautiful. There's one. So folks, this is my first apple pie ever. Out, in, whether at home or on the bush, this is the first ever, so. That you've made. Yeah. So if I could do this, you can. I succeeded in the bread and, and uh, that turned out good, so. Hopefully this will turn out okay as well too. Of course you're not here to taste test it to give your approval, but if Nita ate, ate her half of the bread, that's a good sign. All right, so. I'm not sure if Nita's dad's watching this, who is the baker. He'll probably be critiquing me and... <laughs> he'll probably say not bad for a rookie, but... <laughs> he should be doing this and that. I'm sure I could use a lot of advice. There we go. But da 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 So you just have to take the knife and poke a hole in the top? Okay. Just one slit? Sure. Or you guys do X's, right? Do whatever you want. There we go. Okay, good. So now we gotta put it into the refractor oven and wish me luck. Let's see what it turns out like. Made quite the mess. Yep. Better taste good for all that mess. After putting in the second pie, we decided it was finally time to cool off with a swim. It felt great. You'd think after all this baking and eating, we wouldn't have any more space in our stomachs. But after the swim, and some time spent relaxing, 
we had supper together before looking forward to trying the apple pie. Okay, so we just had supper. We just had a shepherd's pie. And uh, so we did bake the apple pie. And Anita's already broke into it. And what do you think? Is it a success? Not bad job for Not a bad? rookie. For a rookie? Mm -hmm. Not bad job for a rookie. So here it is. And it's full of apple goodness inside. So I'll take a bite. Mmm. That's actually good. Mm hmm. Mmm. Check that out. That is good. Okay, you can fork it over this way, dude. You didn't want any. Excuse me? And you, you were taking off my half, this is flipping your half, this is my half. And you just kind of sort of messed up the the half system so therefore i get the whole pie well we didn't want to eat a whole pie tonight tonight ourselves nope. it was a busy day of oh there's all these little mosquitoes a uh, busy day of cooking and baking and taste testing all this food i know it's hard work but I had to do it. We're going on a diet when we go home. Mm. Man. I did some good baking. Mm -hmm. mm. I wouldn't say it was the most relaxing trip. You know what? I come to a conclusion with you. And there's no such thing as relaxing trips. But you were relaxing. I tried well, to fall asleep well, in the you hammock. Well, you were doing more of the filming. Mm-hmm. But I was, I was constantly cooking, baking, cleaning. And now you know what I do at home. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Help your face with plants. Any uh, words on that? <laughs> um... Do you want another bite? <laughs> we will conclude this segment by devouring the rest of the pie mm -hmm. and um, enjoying the rest of the evening. So, from Philip Edward Island with a with a plate of mm. homemade pie. All right. So we're just uh, leaving the campsite and going to go watch the sunset. It's, it was spectacular yesterday, but we were in the middle of cooking and so it kind of missed. Well, we got a little bit of it, but didn't get to see much of it. So because we had our supper early, we decided that uh, we'd take advantage of getting over to the west side of uh, this island and getting to see the spectacular colors of the sunset. Just because um, it's been so humid, there's a haze in the air and it really makes the colors pop uh, in, the, in the horizon there, with the setting sun. So when we get there, I'll show you. Right now we're just white hiking over to see a, a good spot to view the sunset from.
Today was the last day, and the light show on our final morning did not disappoint. It was an amazing send-off, not just for this outing, but an incredible year of adventures, as it would end the year with no further canoe trips as I recovered from my finger injury. But what a morning to remember. Good morning. It's the last morning, and uh, it's. Um, I thought it was gonna be cooler today. It was a little cooler last night, and there was a north wind, um, so we thought maybe it would be cooler today. But the wind stopped, and now the wind shifted to pretty much the south. But it's not really much of a wind. It's just like a very gentle breeze, and it is stifling and hot again. It's just muggy right out there, and. Uh, I guess I don't, I don't want to complain because we had four fabulous days of of great hot like summer like weather but I mean it was maybe like a tad bit too hot uh, maybe maybe because of the humidity humidity was just a killer it just you never felt like you were really dry you just kind of have that damp feeling and it just kind of continues from day to day uh, today's no different and so we're slowly packing up. The bug shelter is still up. Uh, I've got to get to that yet, but I've just been cleaning around the uh, campfire. But Nita's uh, pretty much taken down the tent and is packing up over there. So uh, I'll continue packing up over here and cleaning up the campsite. But yeah, the trip has pretty much come to a sad end. We have to go back to reality, go back to this thing. i to get it uh, checked up this Friday. Or yeah, this coming Friday, I guess today's Monday. So I gotta check I gotta check in with the plastic surgeon and they're gonna give me a proper brace for it or splint for it. But other than that, that's it. Okay, so we're just about to leave our campsite. It's still pretty early. I don't want to leave. Anita's uh, <laughs> pushing me to leave. It's only like 10.30. So what we're going to do is going to paddle out. Uh, it's only going to be about 30 minutes to paddle back to the vehicle. So we're going to stop uh, at an island, take a little break there, and then, then head uh, back uh, the rest of the way. It's sad to leave. Exactly. <laughs> Even though she wants to go now. <laughs> I do, because I don't want to go home. I don't want to go back to reality.
We enjoyed our little break on the island, but it certainly didn't make it easier to leave. It wasn't long before we found ourselves back at the familiar Chicanishing River as we made our way to the access point. Okay, you can see the landing just behind me. The lighting obviously is not good because the sun's behind me. But I'm just going to get the car. It is super hot. I wish there was a lake here so I can jump in. We are sweltering in this heat. But I'm just going to get the vehicle and I will have air conditioning pretty soon. So we'll be able to cool down in, in a minute. But, uh, you know, as always, when you get to the end, it seems like everybody pulls in. There was like probably four or five uh, kayakers that pulled in with us, which is no problem. And there's uh, some other kayakers leaving. It always gets a little hectic uh, at the put in here because it's a popular area, especially when the weather's nice. But I'm at the car and let's see if the car starts. Door opens, always a good sign. And we're in action. And it's nice and cool in the car. Oh. All right, time to load up. Okay, so we're just on our way home. We've got the car loaded up. And I just kind of find it ironic that there's a red maple leaf on our windshield. And yes, the fall leaves are changing, but today and the last four days seem like summer. So I guess there'll be a change in the next few days as the temperature starts to drop, but it certainly seems like summer to me, other than the red leaf. So we had a great trip. Um, was it relaxing? Uh, probably not as relaxing as we probably could have made it. Partially it was also because of my fault. Anita um, said I was a little ambitious with my baking and, and cooking and indeed it did take a lot of time so we didn't get to do a lot of R&R &R. but we did have a good time. Anita, did you have a good time? Oh sure honey. That sounds like sarcasm. <laughs> Teddy, did you have a good time? Teddy had a good time. Teddy, did you have a good time? I'm not calling you up to the front here. Hey buddy, did you have a good time? He's like, mommy. Oh, see. Okay, so we're just gonna drive out now, um, back to 635, back to civilization, and uh, well, back to the summer and humid heat back at home probably as well too. So. Mm -hmm. And back to work for you. <laughs> I know how much you love that. Right. It is super humid and hot, so the AC is cranked right now, and it's cooling us down. But I imagine this is going to be like, just like this back in Toronto. So, not looking forward to it. But hopefully, we'll cool down and it'll actually be more like fall. All right, KPB out. Mm -hmm.